Our solar system is a marvelous place. Countless worlds lie spread across millions and billions of miles of space, each dragged around the galaxy by our sun like an extensive clockwork. The smaller, inner planets are rocky, and at least one has life as we know on it. While the giants are shrouded in gas and ice, they are also like miniature solar systems in their own right, ones that boast intricate rings and moons. And then, there are those that are scattered throughout the solar system. Small worlds like lumpy asteroids and comets. Asteroids and Earth have a complicated history. Long before humans came to inhabit the area, a massive space rock slammed into woodlands that are now the Arizona desert. Mammoths, giant sloths, and other Pleistocene animals may have glanced up as explosions tore through the sky, only to be vaporized an instant later. The strike that created the meteor crater was dramatic and devastating. However, it pales in comparison to the long-term beating Earth has endured since its formation. That is to say, there have been plenty. How can we forget the one that wiped out the dinosaurs? A devastating event that abruptly ended a reign that had lasted 180 million years. So it's safe to say that establishing a planetary defense from these giant rocks is not exactly being overcautious. In 2022, when NASA's DART voluntarily crashed into twin asteroids Dimorphos and Didymos, history was made. Even though the two space rocks posed no threat to us on Earth, though the threat from asteroid impacts is small, it is a threat nonetheless, and something we should be prepared for. The risk of a catastrophic asteroid impact on Earth is remote but real, because history does repeat itself. And there have been too many asteroid impacts in the history of Earth to take it lightly. Now, 2023, will be just as historic because a NASA probe returns to Earth after six years and more than 200 million miles later. It spent almost three years exploring an ancient giant asteroid whose orbit crosses Earth's. And we should be thankful the spacecraft will be making it back home in less than a year, because it could have met its end on its mission to the space rock. This is the story of asteroid Ben Yu and Osiris Rex, and how the dramatic exploration of a giant, squishy asteroid almost swallowed a NASA probe. Orbit. Beyond the blue. Ben Yu is as old as the solar system itself, which, scientists hope, and hosts carbon-based organic material which astronomers believe will help shed some light on the origins of life on our planet. Such asteroids usually live in the outer reaches of the asteroid belt. Scientists think Ben Yu left the main asteroid belt after it broke off from a much larger body and then migrated closer to the Sun, and to us. Ben Yu has a 1 in nearly 1,800 chance to hit Earth in the next 300 years, and is thus a potentially hazardous one. The near-Earth asteroid that was studied by NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission from 2018 to 2021, the exploration, which involved a dramatic sample collection, made Ben Yu one of three best explored asteroids in the entire universe. The space rock was selected as a destination of NASA's first ever asteroid sample collection mission because Ben Yu stands out distinctly among the 7,000 or so near-Earth asteroids. Ben Yu hit the spot with what the astronomers were looking for. It fell within the desired distance, one that had the right orbit. It didn't spin too fast, which meant sample collection would be easier. And it was also carbon-based. It had remained just the same as it was during the early days of the solar system. It ticked all the boxes, and the mission to Ben Yu was a go. Only, the scientists didn't know exactly what to expect. This was our first ever time flying a probe up to an asteroid. And a giant one at that. To say it was a risky mission, would be a gross understatement. The OSIRIS-REx mission set out for a two-year cruise to Ben Yu in September 2016 and entered into orbit around the spinning top-shaped rock. In December 2018, 
The spacecraft spent nearly two years remotely studying Ben Yu before making a rather dramatic sample collection attempt in October 2020. The asteroid's reaction to the probe's touchdown shocked the mission team. It turned out Ben Yu was an accumulation of dirt, gravel and pebbles held together by only very weak gravitational forces. Having been born in a collision, Ben Yu is not a single solid piece of rock. Instead, it is somewhat a potpourri of rubble piles dirt, rocks and pebbles held together only by the spinning body's weak gravitational forces. When Osiris Rex first arrived at Ben Yu, it quickly revealed that the asteroid's surface looked exponentially different from what scientists had initially expected. Instead of being a neat rock, with a smooth surface, Ben Yu was peppered with large boulders that made a safe landing quite difficult. And it was dangerous. Ben Yu nearly swallowed up Osiris Rex like a quicksand or swamp monster, ejecting a wall of thick debris into space that threatened the probe's safety. The surface offered almost zero resistance, and the probe escaped from being swallowed up by the squishy sphere only due to its powerful thrusters. Ben Yu behaved almost like a sphere of liquid rather than a clump of solid material. Osiris Rex observations also revealed that Ben Yu's surface is full of strange cracks and massive scars. These cracks appear quite young, only tens of thousands of years old, which is blip in cosmic timelines. While Ben Yu is officially one of the most likely bodies to collide with Earth in the next thousand years, the odds of this collision actually happening are still extremely low. At almost 500 meters wide, Ben Yu would certainly cause quite some destruction if it were to hit our planet. This rock's impact wouldn't trigger a mass extinction event, but the reverberations would be felt across thousands of miles. The crater after Ben Nu's impact would be nearly four miles wide, with the air blast knocking down buildings tens of miles away from the epicenter and shattering windows hundreds of miles away. The good news is that if Ben Nu were to stray too close to our planet, NASA may have a tool to prevent the collision thanks to the recent double asteroid redirection test DART mission which is just a first step in our mission to establish a planetary defense system. But for now, there's lots to learn because our piece of Ben Yu hits the ground in less than a year from now. And we will get to study a time capsule from the nascent years of our solar system. Things couldn't be looking brighter for space research and study in 2023. That much I do know. Beyond the Blue.